What's up everybody, it's CMP with Craft Master Productions and Studio12Tutorials.com. If you haven't been by Studio12Tutorials to the Buy Sounds tab, then you do not know that Bag Up 2 is available now. It is six construction kits, um, project files, stems for each track, uh, the MIDI for each track, and templates just a really good product these are these are six tracks the first one was five these are six tracks that i made earlier in the year with the intention of placing no you know fucked up um you know production ideas that you know weren't good enough to make the final batch like this is the, this is my real music that i'm going ahead and selling to you guys so many people always hit me up wanting to see my sessions boom here it is um today we're doing a quick tutorial on how to achieve this sound right here All right, and that is a reverse reverb. This is a really simple um, effect to get. All you gotta do is find something. Um, this works really good with vocal samples for the for the effect that you guys are gonna wanna get out of it. And um, let me just get rid of this, remove. So you wanna go to your effects. First of all, you know, find a vocal sample. Something, something really easy like that. Then you want to go to Room Reverb in, and uh, go ahead and just pick pick a preset. I'm gonna pick the the theater preset. Let's go ahead and drag it on here. The what you're gonna focus on now is you want um, you want to go ahead and set the mix and the dry wet all the way up. And then um, for the size, just turn the size all the way up. You see how that makes the 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 length longer. You want to get like a long five, six second length, and that'll just make everything easier. Now, if you just go ahead and press Control E, go to export. Um, you know, export your mix down, but go ahead and um, select import to track. Now, if you have a full session going on and you want to see, um, you know, you want to do this in the middle of a beat, just make sure that you solo the um the track that you're that you're putting you know that you're making the reverse reverb effect with and go ahead and, and do the same thing again remember to god wife is wilding out so remember to make sure to click import to track now what that's going to do is you're going to bounce this out and you will have something that sounds like this now All right, so you see, you got that that really long tail. So once you once you have that, just go ahead and click on it, press Control R, and you'll be left with this. Now, say you wanted to, you know, say you only wanted it to be two bars. All you got to do is use your time stretching function. Go ahead and just hold down Alt at the bottom of a region and just click that in right here okay we'll go ahead and take this off now you can have this effect all right really easy guys so yeah make sure you know that's a really simple thing to do you can do it in any track just make sure you when you export you have the track you're doing the reverse reverb on soloed um make sure it's a long reverb um, and you can get different sounds by using different reverbs you know go ahead and affect and process this however you see fit and don't forget to stop by studio one tutorials and pick up bag up volume two because it's lit that video is coming out soon so keep it simple don't be basic and we will see you on the next